Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about how to draw triangles with given angle measures using the protractor and the ruler. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we will have three examples class for you to really understand this one. Let's start with example number one. We have given angle A, that is 65 degrees. Angle B, that's 65 degrees. And angle C, that is 50 degrees. So first thing that you need to do class is you draw horizontal line. So draw horizontal line, any measure for horizontal line. Alright, so we don't have a specific measure for horizontal line. So this will be our horizontal line. And this will be, you label this one as point A. And this will be point B. So therefore our angle A will be here and our angle B will be here. So next step is you use your protractor to draw angle A. Once again, this is point A, this is point B, our angle A will be here. Now in this point class, you align the center part of your protractor in this point for us to measure angle A. Once again, our angle A, it will form like this for the angle. So you align the center part in this point on your protractor. So center part of the protractor, you align it here. Alright, and then our angle A. And then you align zero class. Once again, you align zero in this horizontal line for us to draw angle A. So align center part of your protractor to point A and then our angle A that is 65 degrees. Now you will use the inner numbers for the angles. So we have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, then 70. So in between 60 and 70, that would be 65 degrees. So this is 65 degrees. So once again, class 60, then 70. In between, this will be 65 degrees. Alright, and then you sketch this one, class. Alright, you sketch this one using your protractor. Alright, so once again, this is not our final because we need to find angle B measure. Alright, so that's your line. Now, next step, class, you need to find the measure of angle B. So to find the measure of angle B, once again, you align your protractor, the center part in this particular point. Once again, center part in this particular point and then you align zero in this horizontal line because your angle, it will form like this. So that's why you align zero in this particular line because your angle forms like this. Alright, center part of your protractor for point B and then we align zero in this horizontal line and then we will be using the outer numbers class for the angles. Once again, our angle B, that is 65 degrees, so we have 10 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So in between 70 and 60, that would be 65. So this will be our guide for the angle. Alright, so once again, I hope you see this one class. You align the center part of your protractor in this point B. And then you align 0 in this horizontal line. Alright, and you will have 10 degrees, 20. Use the outer numbers class for the angles. 30, 40, 50, 60, in between, that is 65. This one. And then you connect this one, class. Alright, so... Alright, so, there you have it. So you can erase this one, the excess part, for the line. And then, you can sketch this one again. So you can use ball pen for this one, class. Final sketching for the line. Alright, so do not forget class that any kinds of triangle, the sum of these interior angles. So this angle right here class, this interior angles, if we add this up, right, these three angles, it should be equal to 180 degrees. Always remember that one class, any kinds of triangles... The sum of the interior angles, it should be equal to 180 degrees. So our angle A, we have given 65 degrees. Our angle B, that's 65 degrees. Therefore, this is 50 degrees. Because 65 plus 65, that's 130 plus 50, that would be 180. So let's check this if this is really 50 degrees for the angle C. So this is C, point A, point B, and this is point C, or angle A, angle B, and angle C. So let's check if this is really 50 degrees. Alright, so let's check this one. We align. Okay, once again, this is point C. We align this one in the center part of our protractor. 
in this point C and then 0 in this particular line. So let's check if this is really 50 degrees. That's it because exactly 50 degrees. So we have 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees. All set plus for this one. All set plus. That's how you draw triangles with given angle measure. Easy right for number 1. So do not forget to label 65, 65, then 50. Alright, let's have example number 2. Alright, example number 2. So we have given angle R that is 70 degrees, angle S 50 degrees, and angle T that is 60 degrees. So once again, first step is you draw horizontal line. Alright, so draw horizontal line without measure class because we don't have the exact measure for the horizontal line. Just simply draw horizontal line class. Alright, horizontal line. And then you label this one. This is point R. And then point S. Now, angle R, we have 70 degrees. So from this point, you align your protractor in the center part. Okay, and then you align 0 class in this particular line because your angle forms like this. So center part of your protractor. And then you align 0 in this particular line. And then your angle is 70 degrees. So use the inner angles, inner numbers for the angles. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Alright, so this will be our guide for the angle. Then you draw a line. You sketch this one class. Once again, this is not our final answer. We just need to sketch this one. Because we need to draw a line for this point C. Point S, sorry. Point S. Alright, so this is this is angle R, 70 degrees. Now let's find angle S, 50 degrees. So once again, you align this center part of your retractor in this point S. And then you align 0 in this particular line because your angle forms like this. So center part, then we align 0. And then we will use the outer numbers for the angles. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. For angle S, we have only 50 degrees. So this is 50 degrees. This one class. Alright, so once again, use the outer numbers. And then we align 0 in this horizontal line. Center part is this point. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Alright. And then you connect this one. Alright, and then we erase the excess lines. And then this will be angle T. So this is T. Alright, and then you sketch this one with a ball pen to final this one. Alright, to finalize your line, you sketch this one with a ball pen. Alright, so once again, the sum of the interior angles, it should be 180 degrees. So 70 plus 50, that's 120, plus 60, that's 180. So angle R, so this angle right here, that is 70 degrees. Angle T, so this angle right here, that's 60 degrees. And angle S, that's 50 degrees. That's it, plus all set. So let's check if this is really 60 degrees using our protractor. So we align this center part, this point right here in the center part of our protractor. Alright, and then we align 0 in this particular line. So we will have 10. Once again, use the inner numbers for the angles 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Exactly 60 class for this line. All set class, 60 degrees. Alright, so that's it for example number 2. Quite easy, right? For this one. Alright, so example number two. Let's have example number three. Alright, so what if we have an obtuse angle? So we have given 120 degrees for the angle. It is an obtuse angle. Greater than 90 but less than 180. We call it obtuse, obtuse angle. Alright, so once again, you draw horizontal line. So, without the measure class, just simply draw horizontal line. Alright, so let's have this line. 
Alright, and then label this one, point D, and then point E. So therefore, our angle D will be this one, and our angle E will be this one. Alright, and the angle D, that is 120 degrees. So angle D, that's 120 degrees, so choose angle. Once again, your angle forms like this. So we align zero in this particular line. And this will be the center part of our protractor. Center part of our protractor, this one, and then we align zero in this horizontal line. And we will be using the inner numbers class for the angles. So we have 10 degrees, 20, 30, 40, 50. Once again, our angle forms like this. Okay, like this class. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. So this will be our guide for the line. Alright, so it is an obtuse angle. Alright, so not our final line because we need to draw the angle E. So angle E, that's 40 degrees. So once again, our angle forms like this. So therefore, we align zero in this horizontal line. And this will be the center part of our protractor. So center part of our protractor and then we align zero in this horizontal line. Alright, and then we will be using the outer numbers for the angles. So angle E, that's 40 degrees. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Alright, and then you sketch this one using our, let's have our ruler. Forty degrees. All right, so our line is locking class. So we need to extend this one. All right, so that's it. Your triangle. So locking space class, because our angle is obtuse angle and we have an obtuse triangle it's more than we have one angle measures more than 90 less than 180 we call it obtuse triangle so this angle right here is 120 degrees so we can sketch, sketch this one with a ball pen to finalize our answer all right and then this one All right, and then this one. So, angle D, this one is 120 degrees. Angle E, that's 40 degrees. And then this is F. Angle F, that's 20 degrees. So, let's check angle F. All right, so. If this is our point. So, we align this one in the center part of our protractor. And then let's check. We align 0 in this horizontal line. Yup. Exactly 20 degrees. So 10, then 20. Exactly 20 degrees class for this angle F. That's it class. That's how you draw triangles with given angle measures using the protractor and the ruler. So I hope this video helps. Now if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.